Hi and welcome to Winton Wetlands. I have finally returned to continue my studies on the yellow-footed antichinus and catch up with some friends that I've made up here, some other photographers. So this weekend is about relaxing and just photographing as much as I can, or if I can, the yellow-footed antichinus. And checking out my new van. Oh man, three months I've been waiting for this. Had to wait for some money to come in. Finally it has. I've had it for three days. And it's only a month being made from the factory. So she's brand spanking new. Very excited to finally have it and get it fitted out for camping. So it's a mobile home. I'm going to make it four star you know beautiful looking as well as functional at the minute it's bare bones because I've only had it three days I've got my bed that I just bought chucked that in I've got my fridge and the power bank so it's a 12 volt fridge that lasts five days uh, just with the fridge alone and there's still a little bit of power left in the power bank so I've got you know, three full days here. So I've got plenty of battery life to charge the phones and everything else besides that fridge. So it's gonna be an awesome time up here, just relaxing, catching up with old friends, getting photographs of the yellow-footed antichinus. So I better shut up and get up there and uh, start seeing what, if I can find some of the older females that I've been following for the past couple of years. Well, I've just finished my first session with the yellow-footed antichinus. They are out. There's plenty of them getting around, but they were teasing us like they generally do. So I was accompanied with Brian. Brian's another photographer that lives in Benalla that I've gotten to know. And uh, yeah, we're both sort of just looking at each other going, oh, little buggers, they're just teasing us. <laughs> There's nothing much you can do. You just got to sit and be patient. If you try and move around, you are going to miss an opportunity. You move from one place to get a better view and all of a sudden they run where you were. So it's it. you just got to sit, plonk there, wait. Anyway, I've moved on from that. It's that time of day, it's nearly 10 o'clock, where they're all gone back into their... Uh, hollows and gonna have a snooze for the day so later on in the afternoon I'll catch up with them maybe about five o'clock but at the minute I'm heading out into the open paddocks where the robins were hanging out last year at this time of year so it's, I don't know maybe we might get something nice but it's just a bit of an exercise after all that driving up here three hour drive my legs need it I've been sitting down on a log there for a while so yeah, I'm going to stop waffling on and see what I can get out of the rest of the day. It's late in the afternoon and I'm out for my second session with the yellow-footed antichinus. And just at the base of this tree here, it's got a lot of rubbish at the bottom, there's a yellow-footed antichinus, a very young one, getting around at the base there looking for insects. Now this could take quite some time, an hour even. They might just spend a lot, a lot of time at the base of the tree, searching every little nook and cranny. But the thing with yellow-footed antichinus is they're never in a hurry when it comes to food. They take their time. So you have to be patient, get yourself comfortable once you spot one, sit, and wait. It could take an hour, could take two hours. You might run out of light <laughs> for it. They come out from where you've spotted them and start searching in different areas that are out and more open where we can get a shot. 
but you, you definitely have to be patient. I am losing the light. It's been an interesting afternoon. I finally got a shot of the male yellow-footed antichinus. Not as a juvenile, but getting very close to a full-size adult. That is awesome. And how do I know that it's a male? I took some shots of him as he was bounding away. So I could see his bits. <laughs> Definitely a male. What a great start. I don't think there's anything fantastic there. Well, I'm pretty sure there isn't. Just one sort of little shot before it was about to jump. But yeah, the light has faded very quickly. And we'll just have to keep trying. You know, it might be an awesome morning tomorrow. Might get something. And just staying with those principles. Sit, wait, and be patient. <laughs> Catch you in the morning. Well, good morning. I'm out for my first session of the day with the yellow-footed antichinus. I've been following one for quite some time, you know, watching it off in the distance, slowly working its way up to me. I got a couple of shots. Meh, <laughs> all that good. It's not what I want. Eventually come right up to me and ducked into that log that's just in front of me. So I'm, I'm waiting it out, waiting for it to come out, because it, it seemed it, it, you know, it spotted me got a little bit nervous and then ducked in there. The fingers crossed, it comes out and we can get the shots that I'm after. The ones that I got before just, yeah, they're, they're not very good. So hopefully in, in time, it might take a few minutes, you know, it might be 15 minutes or something before it comes out. But hopefully we get something and others turn up as well. All right, looking forward to the, what's going to happen today. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you later on. That's the end of the morning session with the yellow-footed antichinus. They've all gone back into their hollows to have a snooze now. They only that one opportunity. Oops, what's going on here? <laughs> when do you come off for? Yeah. <laughs> It's finished, so I've come down to the water's edge. I'm just going to sit here and chill out. If something comes my way, that'll be a bonus. But otherwise, I we'll just enjoy listening to birds chirping and uh, just enjoying being out in nature. Catch you later. Well, the sun is going down on another awesome day at Winter Wetlands. There's about that much of it left over the peak there. Nice colour in the sky. Got a yellow-footed antichinus over here. Two males have come out and I've been following them. too dark now to take photographs. I could keep filming but I think it's time for me to leave them alone. Head on back and have some dinner. But yeah, uh, catch you in the morning and we'll see what happens, you know. Maybe we might be in for a real treat and get some awesome stuff. Well the sun's finally popped its head up over the mountain range just behind me there. So that's going to be another awesome day up in paradise at Winter Wetlands. I've got two yellow-footed antichinus around me at the minute. I've got one about 15 metres away climbing a tree just over here. And another one about 10 metres away from me, just at the base of a tree looking for insects. So I'm hoping that they'll come back very soon to go back into their nesting hollows, which is just in front of me here. So I've positioned myself really well. And fingers crossed, we get some awesome poses from them. If they're being kind to me today and not teasing me like they did the other day, man, me and Brian, we're just cackling, laughing with each other. Yeah, they, they pop around, up around the corner, boom, gone again. So they don't give you any opportunity, but they just keep teasing. So hopefully they're nicer to me today and uh, go 
Here you go, take a shot. Last night, the other the two males down the bottom of the hill got some keepers there, about two keepers. Yeah, but yeah, I'd like to improve on that and get some awesome shots. It is stinking hot. It's about 30 odd degrees. There's a little cool breeze every now and then, but nowhere enough to make me feel more comfortable. Now I thought I'd have a chat about the van, seeing as how I have four and a half hours to kill before I go back up to the top of the hill to photograph and film the yellow footed Antichinus. Now, yeah, I've got distractions, car going past. And you might see a little bit of cardboard across the top of the screen there I've got it as a sunshade keep it off the lens anyway <laughs> yeah I thought I'd talk about my experience with the van so far I have to say I'm thoroughly enjoying it there's another car <laughs> so what's heavy traffic around here today so I'm really enjoying having so much room you know I've brought tons of stuff with me and I still got Plenty of room, I could have brought more stuff. But as far as getting ideas for how I'm going to go about uh, fitting it out for four star luxury, I've got a better insight now. Because I, you know, I only had it three days and I've shot up here and actually physically living in it, yeah, definitely given me much better ideas than I had before. One of the things that I've learned is that the power station, not power bank, I made a mistake, wrong words yesterday. The power station, it runs with the fan far too long in the van because there's just not enough, you know, nice cooler air circulation for it. So what I've decided is that I'm going to put it underneath the fridge, where before I was going to put it behind it. So the fridge is going to sit here, it's going to finish about there. That way I can access the door from outside or inside. And it's going to sit up, the bottom of the fridge will be about there somewhere. So that was just going to be a little storage area, but not anymore. The power station is going underneath. So it'll be enclosed but you have access from the inside to all the power points and the fan, the draw fan, you can see there, will be here, taking in nicer air when you've got the door open. And on the other side of it, there's uh, be a little bit of space so that it can you know, blow out all the, the hot air and with a vent on the outside of the van to be able to get rid of it all. So that's my idea, just a nice uh, circular flow of air. It's gonna help out a lot. And of course, just looking at the shape and everything of it, yeah, how I can go about putting windows in and framing them out and things like this. I've, yeah, definitely got a better insight. So there you go, just a, just a little quick chat while I've got all this time to kill about how I'm going with the van. I am so glad I bought it. It's just luxurious, even though it's not decked out. This weekend's just been awesome. Right, that's all I'm going to say for now. Yeah, still got a long time to wait before I go up the top.
my adventure is coming to an end. The sun is going down. It's got about five minutes or six minutes to go before it disappears over the horizon there. Beautiful looking orange glow. It's awesome. Now, this has been the most productive day so far. And it generally is the case the last day. I'm going home. Just watch out for a young female yellow foot run past me here. It's giving me some really good stuff, but it's just getting a bit too dark now for the camera to get a decent image. But, oh, I have got some keepers there. I'm not sure how many. So this morning I was up the top and I've come down a little bit further because I could see some action down here. There wasn't anything much going on up there. So I come down here and all of a sudden I was just getting tons of stuff. These two females that I was following this morning, yeah, that, they were very generous, <laughs> extremely generous and even more generous tonight. They have got, yeah, quite a few keepers, that's for sure. So we'll wrap the video up now as the sun's almost disappeared. It's been an awesome weekend, or long weekend, I should say. Catching up with friends, getting some awesome shots, not just of the yellow foots, but I've got some nice ones of birds as well. Uh, and the van, checking it out before I start on it. Yes, it's given me a good insight into things I didn't even think about. Now, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and get more of this amazing stuff, click on my pretty little face just down there in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Hit the little bell, you'll get notification whenever I do anything else. And if you want to go and have a look at all the other mad and crazy things I've been doing in the past, click on my icon right here at the end of this video, take it to my channel. I talk about photographing in the forest and open forest environments. And when I go on adventures, I always take you with me. If you want to buy cameras and camera accessories, I do reviews on them and give you my honest opinion on them. Just go and have a browse, there'll be something there of interest to you, I am sure. And just remember, if you don't do, you don't get. So get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.